Good morning, everyone. We have ways of making you talk. <laughs> Been a couple. Took a uh, took about a full week off on the uh, bathroom renovation. Back today, I'm gloved up. I'm feeling good. The uh, medicines have worked. I had a little bit of a uh, blood poisoning because of the uh, hot mortar I had uh, stripped through several layers of skin, but it's all good. So. Happy Saturday, everybody, back on the job. Today's theme is going to be running the electrical. And one of the big uh, big issues here is it's really hot these days. It's going to be over 100 today. It's early in the morning. It's about 8 o'clock. So I want, to get the, uh, I want to get the electric run from the circuit breaker box over to here, what I call the feed. And then we'll branch out on that feed to what else we need to do. Okay, so I'm going to... Uh, pull you in and show you what we're, we'll show you what I'm talking about in one second. It's important that the electrical be handled safely and without any chance of uh, injury to anybody. That includes making sure that any uh, outlets that we put in the bathroom are GFI protected, ground fault interrupter circuit protected. Any water or wet hand touches it, it instantly cuts out the uh, power on that uh, box, thereby saving you from being electrified and possibly electrocuted. It was a great invention, but there are certain there are certain schemes that have to be built in to hit code properly on there. There are certain electrical codes that have to be met, such as that GFI can't be associated with the lights. In other words, if the GFI trips, the lights can't be downstream on the wire and they can't be on the load side of the GFI switch because imagine if you're in taking a bath and somehow or another the GFI flips you lose your light you can't see in the dark you have a very dangerous situation so the GFI will be run separately on a separate feed off of a uh, junction box there'll be nothing behind that there'll be nothing down the line nothing on the load side it'll just terminate there at the box therefore if the GFI trips there's nothing behind it that's going to turn off. Okay, just one of the issues we're going to be working today. So let's uh, let's go and take a look and show you what we're dealing with here. Okay, going back to the main uh, house circuit breaker panel, and I've rewired the whole house. And today I pulled off the uh, sheet. I never secured this into place because I knew this day would be coming. Where I have some uh, I have some open feed here, and I'm going to do a feed for the uh, bathroom. And then I'm going to mount a junction box up top. I'm going to do a separate feed for the, uh, we'll have one feed coming off of here, 20 amp wire. That's all I've used. My father was an electrical inspector for years for insurance companies where people would set fire to their own places and things would catch on fire. And he said in his whole experience of uh, all the investigations over all the years, he'd never seen a case where they had a fire with 20 amp wiring so it's impossible to overload that wire really and I have that uh, running throughout the house everything I do I use the 20 amp wire the 12 2 wire really good 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 stuff so we're gonna do a feed up out of here and we're gonna route up through there you see I have it open some people run it through little holes through the uh, through this ceiling plate there you can't do that. You need to have maximum ventilation for that. So you can see how that's open up there to allow that to uh, come through. So then we're going to take that feed. I'm actually going to be getting the kitchen has an access plate up here. I'm going to be getting up here and uh, Jennifer will be, uh, good morning honey. She'll be uh, pulling off the loop down here and I'll be taking that run over to the bathroom across here routing it low underneath of the vent we have the vent ductwork up there and we'll be trying to pull down right in this uh, right in this location right here and I'm probably trying to do that what I'll probably do since I don't want to eliminate the power here immediately I will probably drill another hole up there and put a uh, yellow 20 amp 12 2 cable up there so that I can easily identify that while I'm walking along. The worst thing is to get up on top and then you can't find which hole out of the hundred that are drilled through these plates that is the one you want to come down and we're going to come down we're going to do that feed there. Once we've done that feed you know I can always mount a easily mount a junction box 
up top to uh, feed off the uh, GFI circuit over here. I'm going to have a triple here. We're going to have one fan that controls the uh, basic lights over top of the vanity and the uh, ceiling lights here. Then we're going to have a, uh, another switch that controls the, uh, the uh, fan in here and the shower. And the shower is going to have, yeah, it's actually going to be, one light's going to be for the uh, vanity, one's going to be for the uh, ceiling lights. In, and the uh, third one is going to be for the shower. If you're going to use the shower or uh, you're going to use the fan, I haven't quite figured everything out yet, but we'll get it worked out for so that when the fan is used, if somebody's using the commode bleh, or the uh, bathroom, we're going to have two feeds here. We're going to have two lights in here, recessed light. We'll probably have some recessed lights to over here. And at the end of the day, you know, we still haven't quite decided about uh, closing this up or not. So I'm going to go ahead and get that uh, first pull done. I'm going to go ahead and drill up through here. Drill up through here and get, a, uh, get another feed going. All right, guys, just a word of caution before we begin today. Uh, doing electrical work in the home is something that's really best left for the professionals. I had the advantage of doing contract work for years, pulling cable and, and working uh, electrical work. So I have a very good idea what I'm doing. I still use extreme caution. But if you look at shows like Home Time and This Old House, one of the things you never see, you see plumbing. You know, nobody ever get killed by a bad plumbing hookup. They might have smells they didn't want to see in sewage backing up, but nobody ever get killed by a bad plumbing but you could get killed doing electrical work, okay? This is strictly for entertainment purposes only. There's nothing I'm trying to teach. I'm just showing what I'm doing in this particular case and some of the tricks I use when I'm doing electrical work. Be cautious. Best to use a uh, certified, licensed, and bonded electrician, okay? You want to be safe. A lot of times there's no second chance when it comes to electric, okay? That's why those shows are very careful to not, uh, never, not ever really bring any focus on doing electrical work when they do remodels and things like that. It's way too dangerous, okay? Having said that, I'm ready to uh, set up the uh, cam here. I'm going to drill through and get, the, uh, get that stud plate opened up up top, that uh, ceiling plate, and get a hole there so we can do this first run, Man. okay? Top. We'll put a uh, junction box there, somewhere up there, and we'll probably do another uh, cross feed here. To uh, I think we'll actually, uh, if you look over to side here, right here, you can see. Let me see if I get a focus on that. You can see the old uh, GFI. Uh, this wasn't GFI. What am I saying? This is just the old cloth covered. The knob and tube stuff up top. So, uh, what I this is a dead circuit now, so I can actually remove that from the top, and then I can use those existing holes up there to run down on that. So, I'm going to go ahead and do. The, we're going to go ahead and run that uh, run that basic cable over to that area now, and get that fed down. Okay, we're up top side here. You can see some of the uh, heating duct work and the old cable. You know, when you're doing this stuff, there's you just lay it down and home run it up here. It's very safe uh, cable. It doesn't have to be all battened down. So what I'm going to do, if you look over, oh, don't pull it. Don't pull it. Don't touch it. I won't be able to reach it. Okay. You can see she has, uh, I've pre-fed this up here okay now you can start feeding it i've got a good uh, grip on it i'll pull just make sure i don't have a kink okay that's all i'm gonna go ahead and start pulling well, along now went pretty smoothly we had a little pinching coming up from the uh, circuit breaker box but we got that resolved good we've got the uh, pull down here and what we're going to be doing there's going to be the uh, triple switch here one for the overhead light 
one for the uh, that will also uh, the vanity and the fan and then the last one will be the lights for the uh, shower and the fan will come on with that too so this is the wrong kind of box I grabbed unfortunately that day it's an aftermarket for going into drywall for uh, retrofitting so I'm going to have to get a new one of them but I can certainly pull the wiring down for that we're going to run the junction box over to here you know, uh, oh yeah, do a feed over here, put the, put the junction box here, and then do an off feed for the uh, GFI. Then we're going to loop up. Uh, we'll have to go up top again, but it should be pretty easy to sort of reverse feed when we do our uh, two holes over here for our uh, light cutouts. That shouldn't be any big deal if we feed up from here and then over the top. So that'll probably be later on today. We're going there, and then uh, we'll have the uh, feed here. And then we'll probably be having a uh, top feed here. This will probably be filling that in, so we'll have to let something sort of dangle there. So, on with the show. It's starting to get a little warm, guys. It's going to be 100 plus today. We still got to get up on the top side and pull the wiring for the uh, lights over here. We have to put a junction so they're both on uh, single feed the lights there. Oh, and what I'm doing is just sort of wiring in what they call parallel. I'm just tracing the old uh, the old roots here, like for the old vanity light. I'm putting a new service up top. And later when I uh, take off that uh, line, the old line, and take it off of the circuit breaker box, I'll just snip this away and uh, make it clean in here. And uh, just punch down, hook down the... Uh, new 20 amp cable and all the service will be live in here so got the gfi got a good start on what's going to feed down to our triple switches here and we got we got our vanity light in so uh, i'm going to be probably going up top side to get the other feed all right, well i've cut the power here i got kind of excited for a second when i saw the uh romex but the problem with this old Romex is it's, it doesn't have a ground. It's not carrying a ground with it. So my excitement uh, quickly faded. So this has got to go. So the next thing I'm going to do now is replace the fan run over here. And this should be fairly easy to do. I can just set the ladder up in here and then uh, do the run over there. So yeah, well, might as well do it right. I can't have any ungrounded stuff Looks in like here. I'm in the sun, right? I ain't wearing no bikini today. It's about 130 degrees up here. Top side, I want to put a junction box in because there's no point for the two, um, there's two shower lights. There's no point in running, uh, you know, each of the uh, shower light uh, feeds back to the uh, switch box. We could just have one feed and just install a uh, junction box here down on the side and then go ahead and uh, just have two in and one out and it saves a lot of a uh, lot of stress over at the uh, switch box that we're going to put down there on the wall okay all right i picked went to the store and i also picked up a lot of the uh, stuff i needed the uh, the light uh, fixtures here to go over top of the shower the uh, recessed light fixtures so i hope when it's a little colder tomorrow morning i'll be able to install them so i'll be very happy just to get the basic roughing and get some power back on in here today okay stick with me get a towel wipe off it's hot don't be a baby i ain't gonna lie to you guys it's been a uh, total sweat box here but i've got basically all the rough runs in now the two uh the two back lights for the uh, shower i've got a uh, third light up here which will help balance out the uh, vanity light it'll come on when the uh when the vanity light comes on and then uh over here we've got everything pretty roughed into our upper junction box we'll be running over to the closet the hot it'll have a switch over there uh and down here we'll have our feeds for distribution for our shower lights our fan all that so and we also have to hook in our uh, gfi and our vanity and all that so time to start stripping some wire four thousand dollars at one of those high-end patio stores i found it for less than a hell of a lot of water guys. and i was able to find a beautiful outdoor furniture set with 
couches, chairs, and ottomans. My neighbors came by for a swim the other day, saw my great finds, and then promptly like, headed over to the home to spruce up their backyard as well. And it's not just outdoor furniture that's fabulous at the Home Good Climate Center. They have high quality living room, bedroom, and, and main office furniture. Main if you're not freaking out, that's the key. Five, eight, 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 All right, we got our first uh, junction box. Actually, our second one. I got another one up uh, the top side there. I'm going to go up there again if I can help it today. But I've got them all uh, twisted first and then use the real heavy duty uh, wire connectors and I have them pushed back. The uh, neutrals are the whites, the hots are the black. And of course you can see the coppers in the back there for the uh, ground. And as long as you respect that system, you know, things generally work pretty good. That puts the GFI on a dedicated uh, to the hot. There's no switching involved in that at all. It's always on and it's always ready to trip and it won't take the lights out with it if it goes out. Also, we have a run to the uh, closet over here, so we're going to have a light in the closet for the first time. So, Okay, now it's just a simple matter of keeping our wits about us. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow to do the uh, switch wiring. Here. Just a little hint. One mistake I see a lot of people do. When they do electricals, they get overwhelmed with the thought processes of what goes here and what goes there. And they, they start pulling wire like I have here. And you can see various uh, wires around. And they pull them all to where they need to be, the uh, switch box that you can see here. But they neglect to mark which is which coming into the uh, switch box. And then they got a whole world of hurt going back and hooking up a, a test bulb and, and powering it, risking being shocked and all that. So you can see what the Jennifer initially did and I asked her to do was to get some tape, like a fan and shower here. Uh, this one's shower, and I've also marked them up here in case the tape comes off. The uh, hot feed from above, where we're taking off for the closet and the GFI. And we have the uh, the one room light that'll be in the center over here. And then of course we have the uh, vanity for the light over top of the sink. And we want to do some combine, you know, we, we put them close to each other. Because these two, the vanity and the third light, the room light, are going to come on at the same time. And the shower light and the uh, fan are going to come on at the uh, same time when you're taking a shower. So. You know, just a good way to uh, to keep organized and to get uh, to get things done the right way. Well, that's going to do it today, guys. Got a good first day's uh, effort in here with the electrical. Tell you the truth, my wrist went out when you're doing all this twisting and uh, using the wire or not. So, going to rest that uh, rest that tonight and get a fresh start. But I'm very happy that the uh, of the progress has been made. And it's very exciting to see how it's coming along. So. You will be here tomorrow as we finish up the electrical wiring. Thanks, guys.